Hey guys, what's up? This is gonna be my video on the new 4.3 and 4.3.1 firmware jailbreak, which was just released. Now, th now this jailbreak is untethered and it works for Windows and Mac. This jailbreak works for the following devices, including the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, GSM, AT&T, iPhone 4 model, and not the Verizon iPhone 4, that is the CDMA model, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPad first generation, and the Apple TV second generation, but it is only using Ponage tool. Now, this jailbreak does not work for the iPad 2, and uh, now I will have all of the download links in the description down below to download the Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9 and also the Ponage tool jailbreak for the Apple TV second generation. Now also I will have the firmware links in the description in the description as well. So now you can exit out of your browser after you have downloaded the firmware and also Red Snow. And then you'll open up Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. Then you'll go to browse and then you'll tap on the firmware for your device and then it will process the firmware and then it will say IPSW successfully identified and then you can proceed to the next step and then it will prepare the jailbreak data and then it will process and patch the kernel for the jailbreak And then the custom boot logos are not yet available for the this device. Now when you proceed to the next step, you will see that it says install CD, install custom bundle, uh, enable battery percentage, just boot tethered right now, and just enter Pwn DFU mode right now. What you will select is install CD so that you can actually jailbreak your device. And then you can uh, select enable battery percentage if you would like. So now you can proceed to the next step after that. And then it says, please make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer. If it is not uh, off, plug the device into the computer first, then hold down the uh, power button until you see slide to power off. And now once your device is both off and plugged in, you can go to the next step. Now what you'll do is immediately be entering DFU mode. So the first step that you'll do is hold the power button in the corner for three seconds. Then you'll go and uh, without releasing the power button to hold the home button in the middle. And then after that, the last step uh, that you'll do is without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for at least 15 seconds. Now once you're finished doing that, uh, it will be jailbreaking your device and then it will be finished jailbreaking your device and then it will say done then you can unplug your device once it says done on that screen and then it will uh, jailbreak your device from there and then you can install Cydia on your device so thank you for watching this video on how to jailbreak iOS 4.3 and iOS 4.3.1 please be sure to subscribe please like this video and thanks for watching